experiment refraction through glass slab to find refractive index. Now we are going to trace the different rays of light through a rectangular glass slab. We will take different angles of incidence and for that we will get different angles of refraction. Then we will take sin i by sin r and calculate the refractive index. For this experiment we need few apparatus like a drawing board, three sheets of white paper, four long pins, four board pins and a rectangular glass slab. Here we have placed a glass block on a sheet of white paper. We need a pencil, few pins are there and one protractor is also required to measure the angle after the experiment is done. Now we are going to draw the outline for a glass block so that if the glass block is moved we can replace it in the same place and an incident ray is drawn. When we remove the glass block at the point where the incident ray is touching the surface of the glass block we are going to draw 90 degree to find out the angle of incidence. Angle of incidence we get 22 degree. Now we will remove this protractor and place two pins on the incident ray at proper gap. Two pins are placed on the incident ray and now after refraction through the glass block we can see the pins and both the pins are visible. We will slowly adjust our eyes and bring both the pins in one line to get the emergent ray. Now we can see only one pin. Next we are going to place two pins in such a way that all four pins lies on the same line. Check the feet of all four pins lie on the same line. Now we will remove the pins and draw the emergent ray. In this way we can see the feet of all four pins. Now only one pin is visible. Pins are removed and angle R is measured. Angle R is coming 14 degree. If I take a closer view, you can see it is 14 degree. See the mark of the pins are rounded. So these are the pin marks. Now calculation. Sin I that is sin 22 degree is coming to 0.3746. Sin 14 degree is coming to 0.2419. Therefore, we can calculate mu that is coming to 1.548 which is almost equals to 1.5 that is the refractive index of glass. We repeat the experiment with I equals to 21 degree. We repeat the experiment with another incident ray and we will measure the angle of incidence and angle of refraction. Here also we follow the same method and find out the emergent ray. So we find angle of incidence is 42, angle of refraction is 28, therefore sine i 
that is sine 42 is 0 0.6691 we can find out from the tables that is given at the back of your maths books next we can divide and find out the refractive index which comes to 1.42 we repeat the experiment for the third time with one incident ray and then we calculate and we get the data's incident ray equals to 41 degree and refracted ray 27 degree and at last we calculate the mu that is the refractive index we get 1.445 which is nearly equals to 1.45 we write all the datas in an observation table as shown and then we calculate the average mu here we get 1.47 that is almost equals to 1.5 hence it is verified that the refractive index of air glass interference is 1.5